Welcome to today's Meet the Funder session, where you'll learn more about the Greater Together Foundation Resilience Fund. Um, Leanne Keane will be delivering the session. Over to you, Leanne. Oh, thanks, Hayley. Um, so um, I'm Leanne and um, from Great Places Housing, and I've just prepared a really short presentation um, just to give you an overview of our Resilience Fund and um, then answer any questions at the end that you might have. Just going to um, try and share the screen with you now. So hopefully this will work. Let me. Right. Hopefully you can see you can see the screen now. Right. Great. Um, so. Um, sorry. <laughs> so with Great Places, if you don't know um, much about us, we're um, a um, social housing provider and we've got around 24,000 homes all around the northwestern Yorkshire. About 2,000 of those homes are in Alderman Rochdale. Um, and as well as homes, what we try to do is provide a wide range of services for our customers and really trying to have a focus on partnership working to help us to enable um, sustainable communities for our, our tenants. So within Great Places, I work as Community and Partnerships Manager for our central region, which consists of Oldham, Rochdale, Berry, Bolton and Wigan. And I think I'm really lucky to be able to work with some amazing organisations who are doing really fantastic work in our communities. So apart from this fund, if there's anything else you think we could work together on, I'd really love to hear from you. So just to give you a bit of background on where the funding came from, in 2020, um, at the height of the COVID pandemic, um, the community investment team in which I work launched four funding programmes. So three of these were directly for our customers via internal referral. And these were the Hardship Fund, which was established to meet the needs of customers. Um, so this was um, the customers who were experiencing crisis, so we could give them immediate financial relief. House to Home, which was aimed at new customers, considered to be especially vulnerable and at risk of tenancy failure within the first 12 months. And a fuel affordability. So through our partnership with the National Energy Action, we can offer fuel vouchers, and then the customer can also receive help and advice around saving energy. And then our Community Resilience Fund. So at the time we could recognize the challenges faced by community partners during the pandemic. And we invested 130,000 pound into community initiatives and projects that were focused on poverty alleviation, um, employment and skills for the most economically affected by the pandemic. So following on from the pandemic, our three internal funds have continued and they're used really widely um, by our frontline teams and customers. And then we've now allocated another £200,000 for another round of the Community Resilience Fund. But this time the focus is on cost of living. So the grants that are available are from between £1,000 up to £25,000. And these are for organisations that can deliver support services to Great Places customers and those within their communities with the core themes around increasing and stabilising household incomes, helping local people to overcome fuel, furniture and food insecurity, financial literacy, employment and development opportunities for both people in work and out of work, and any innovative approaches to poverty reduction. What we want to do is provide financial support to community groups, charities and social enterprises to implement or enhance their current provision in response to the cost of living and support the organisations that are best placed to react quickly to the needs of the local community and of the greatest impact. The projects will really have a focus on affordability and anti-poverty interventions to enable the customers to sustain the tenancies. So um, some of the eligibility for who can and can't apply. So any um, constituted voluntary and community groups with their own bank account can apply, registered and exempt charities, community interest companies, and any non-profit for profit companies and social enterprise with a different um, leak, um, recognized legal entity. Um, just some who can't apply is the local authority, unless they're in partnership with the lead organization, Schools, again, unless they're partnershiping with someone from the eligible list, any for-profit organisations and individuals as well. I've done a list here, which is also on the guidance, um, which says some of the things which are 
uh, eligible and ineligible with the spend of the of the funding. Um, so some things you might expect to see on the ineligible list anyway, alcohol, um, marketing, consultancy, day trips, um, and refurbishment to any assets or buildings. So really the eligible spend is um, things around the project or training, IT equipment, utility bills, um, any volunteer expenses, um, staffing costs to deliver the actual project. So if you think um, this fund might be of interest to you, um, what to do next um, is have a look at the full set of guidance, which can be found on this link. Um, following this link also, you'll be able to see the application form. And what we've tried to do with the application form is keep it really straightforward. I think we've learned from previous funding that the, it can, they can be too onerous, the application forms, and you know may put some people off from applying. So I think if you see the application form, you'll see that it is really straightforward. Um, the deadline to submit applications is the 6th of November, and any decisions are being made through an internal panel, um, which will be the week after. So decisions should be fed back to you no later than the 18th of November. We've got an email address, um, our Great and Together Foundation email address, where you can send any queries, but I'm more than happy to um, take emails or telephone calls direct if you've got anything you want to ask or talk about an application or if you've got any ideas for anything um, and like I said at the beginning if there's anything else you think we can work on together please do get in touch um, that's the end of the presentation I did say it was really brief so if you've got any questions um, please ask <laughs>